Hi, I'm Rob from MixedGarage.com. In this video, we're going to take a very quick look at how to test your engine's antifreeze. Antifreeze, as the name suggests, stops the coolant in your engine from freezing over. What happens if the coolant freezes over is it expands, it can actually crack the block on your engine, which means you need a new engine. So for the sake of a few quid, it's worthwhile investing in one of these, an antifreeze tester. Before you do any work on your car's cooling system, you have to make sure that it's properly cooled down leave it for a minimum of three hours before you go anywhere near it at all. You have to find your car's expansion tank. This is it here. And we just remove the cap and then take our antifreeze tester and we just suck up some of the coolant. And then we can take a reading. The number of discs that are floating inside the tester tells us the strength of the antifreeze. So, and this one, we've got one, two, three, four, five discs floating, which means that we're safe down to minus 37 degrees C. So we're well covered with this car. If you do need to top up your antifreeze, just be a little bit careful because certain cars take a specific grade of antifreeze. Check your owner's manual, it'll tell you what you need in there. This car tells us on the expansion tank as well, it says we need G12. So we've picked out the right antifreeze here, G12. This antifreeze is ready to use straight from the bottle and we don't need to dilute it at all. You can pour it straight into the expansion tank. Just be careful to fill within the min and max lines marked on the expansion tank. So that's it, very simple. Just tighten up the expansion tank cap. When you're finished, take all your tools and gear out of the way. And um, if you want to just check the strength of the antifreeze, uh, go for a drive, let the car run, let the coolant run around the engine then let it cool down again before you test it again with your antifreeze tester. 